Hi everyone, my name is Yuri Dipsky and I'm the founder of Puma Browser. Uh, really excited to be here today. Uh, in this talk, we'll cover a few things. One is why are we building Puma Browser? And two, the main title of the talk is Micropayments in Action. So I'll do the demos of how micropayments work in Puma Browser. Uh, and then we'll save some time maybe for Q&A. And as Stefan mentioned, this uh, uh, new event format is awesome and you can ask other questions uh, during the talk and we'll do our best to answer them async. So uh, if you have any questions, feel free to fire them away and I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, now for Puma, the goals are pretty simple. The three fundamental things that we focus on are privacy of the business model of the browsers, which is today the browsing is mostly sponsored by advertising. And we think we should revisit the original notion of browsers that were called user agents. And so they were always on the user side and we think browser business model should be also aligned with the user. And two ways to do that is subscriptions or uh, micropayments. And we think allowing folks to pay for content and services seamlessly in the browser and increasing the community that way and the economy of the internet uh, can allow us to monetize in a sustainable way uh, much more naturally than, than with advertising where your goals are to always know as much as possible about the person. And so the second part is payments. So privacy, payments, and design. We also think that browsers haven't changed much in the last 25 years since the first one. And pretty much on the special on mobile, it looks like a shrunk down version of a desktop browser. We think there's a lot of space for innovation there. And so let's uh, let's dive into the demo. Um, boom, 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 boom. Just gonna move myself a little to the side. Do, do, do. If you've used Puma Browser before, you notice that the new release uh, we're launching also includes the new logo. Uh, I'm pretty excited about that. You'll be greeted with an onboarding tour, uh, which as we're adding more features, we'll be able to communicate it better on how they work because some of the fun stuff we have in the pipeline is really complicated. It's nice to be able to explain it. And uh, so yeah, the, the, the main feature I'll be demoing today is a built-in micropayments with web monetization and coil. Um, most sites, we, we recognize that most sites are um, not web monetized today. And one of the fun features we built at the internal hackathon with an idea from uh, Sabine at Coil is called charity mode, where if a site is not web monetized, you can enable charity mode on it. And let's say you're browsing Twitter and you're getting distracted and you feel different sorts of emotions these days on Twitter, you can be donating to charity while you're browsing that site. Uh, we think that's really cool. Um, then you get to select the default search engine. Uh, we have a selection of fun ones. Uh, Runaroo is actually the first web monetized search engine. So we're really excited to have them on board as well. Um, nobody wants pop-up windows, so you can block them. And then I'm already signed in with Coil, uh, but this is the screen where you can create a Coil account and sign in with it. So let's dive in. Uh, it is a browser, so you can just browse as you would. And we're on coil.com right now. We're again, really excited to be working closely with uh, Stefan and the Coil team uh, on the, on this ecosystem project. And there's a ton of content you can discover that uh, is already web monetized. And so we'll, uh, we'll show you a few fun demos. Uh, one is uh, a classic example of a paywall. Uh, the easiest way to publish today is if you go to coil.com and create an account uh, to publish there. And this is an example of a post that has a paywall. And while you're reading it, you don't even see a paywall. Uh, in most other websites, you'll you'll be greeted with a lot of ads or like something intrusive and like a big uh, sign up here or give us, you know, a call to cancel the uh, the call here. This is this is the paywall, and because you're using Puma Browser and you already logged in with Coil, there's no unlocking required. Um, I'll show it on a much shorter post. Uh, this is the unlocking animation that happens, and that's it. Uh, because you're already a subscriber. Uh, you can uh, access the content. This is uh, one of my drawings from a while back. Let's make sure that I stay stay on the side of tech then don't go to too much arty stuff. Um, if you're a developer, uh, there's a fun site called Test Web Monetization, which uh, allows you to test uh, whether your uh, browser, uh, desktop or mobile uh, works well on the web monetization. And sometimes when the internet is slow, it takes a little bit, but Let's uh, let's give it another try. Um, and yeah, you can see this in this particular site. They just change an image uh, under the hood. Um, these are the events that are happening. Um, 
And again, let's refresh. I apologize, the internet is a little uh, a little slow today. Um, oh no. Mm -hmm. So we see payment pointer. Yay, great. So these are the events uh, that are happening. And this is uh, on the on the back end, on the other side uh, of the browser that you'll see that uh, you'll be able to uh, monitor as payments are coming in. And different uh, apps and different sites can choose to reward users differently. Uh, Andre, who's going to be speaking later today, uh, has an amazing game. They built an amazing game called uh, Flood Escape. And the way they... Uh, the way they reward uh, people who use web monetization is by offering them bonus coins inside the game and the much quicker uh, cooldown period. It's a pretty fun game. Um, definitely check it out and don't spend too much time there, but it's really awesome. And then uh, another example is Sushi Party, where uh, there's going to be no ads. You can, you can see this like a little pop-up. I'll refresh it real quick again. There's going to be no ads if you use Coil. And so as you're playing this game, if you're playing it, uh, on Puma browser and you have uh, an account with Coil, you're never going to be seeing an ad, an ad. And you just play a game and enjoy yourself. And with, uh, with any other browser, uh, you'll, you'll see ads, which I think the, the important aspect of web monetization is that it's not a, an exclusive model where you have to either use it or not use it. It's really additive where if people are not open to paying right now, you can still monetize through ads. But uh, in, uh, in the case that they have an account and they're ready to pay, um, they're able to enjoy uh, a game without ad ads. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to demo is, uh, oh, by the way, here's a, a quick uh, sneak peek into our new website uh, that we're launching soon. I hope you're, you'll enjoy it. And a uh, few, few more things, actually. One uh, big announcement recently is that we finally got approval from Apple where you can set Puma as your um, as your default browser. And so if you're using Safari like most people on iOS, you can now set Puma uh, browser as your default browser. Um, as you can see, I've been playing around with a lot of different browsers. And another fun thing is uh, we wanted to make um, a little bit of a kind of like a history homage to Netscape, where you can now have a Netscape theme. Uh, it was still is a work in progress, but we're really excited to ship this uh, little Easter egg where, um, you know, some of us are a little more nostalgic. And so pretty excited about this. Oh, and then last but not least, let me go back to, uh, let me go back to regular theme. And uh, there's a few projects that are uh, working on replacing uh, kind of like a centralized DNS. And um, one of them is uh, HNS, which uh, a friend of mine, Tishan, is running a company called Namebase, which is part of their ecosystem. And so this is the first preview of how uh, Handshake and HNS work. And it allows you to buy top 11 domains and they resolve through a very interesting network. And so I encourage you to read up on it, but uh, I bought one that's uh, really short and it's just Uric. Um, and as you can see, usually it wouldn't resolve anywhere, but it redirects to my uh, Twitter account for, uh, Tishan, it takes you to his uh, to his homepage. So we're really excited to be the first browser to natively support Handshake. Um, and then IPFS support is also in beta. Uh, it's a little buggy right now, so uh, Puma might break if you if you push it too hard. But uh, we're really excited to also be supporting uh, IPFS. But micropayments, I think, is, is is a really important part, and we're really excited to see um, what uh, what you guys build with it and. Um, webmonetization.org. Uh, there's, there's a few sites. That Stef so Stefan mentioned um, developers.coil.com, a uh, really great site. It also has a great list of who already is using web monetization. And it's a really long list. It's, it's, it's sometimes mind-blowing how quickly the ecosystem has grown in the last year. And then for more detailed tech specs, you can go to webmonetization.org uh, while you can read up on the docs. Um, and yeah, give it a spin. I'll let us know what you think. Uh, we're really excited to um, to be launching uh, officially very, very soon. The, this is a sneak peek into a lot of features. And uh, I'm available on Twitter and always on email. Uh, hope you enjoy the rest of the conference. Thank you so much and have a nice day.